What's up everyone? We are going to talk about drill bits today and we've had drill bit conversations before. Uh, today it's going to be on the difference between the drill bits that require a chuck like this or an arbor I guess is what you call it and uh, the ones that come with this fixed arbor. So let's talk about it. And honestly, the only reason we're gonna talk about it right now is because I got to a job the other day and I realized that my two and an eighth inch hole saw, this is for another video, I realized that the only, oh, that's pretty heavy. Oh, you can do it, glass. I realized when I got to the job that my decent drill bits were here waiting on me to do a video. So we got to do this video so that I can put those in here, which is what we're going to do right after this video. Uh, this is a, uh, let's start off Apache 3800. This is, uh, when they first introduced these, I got the smaller one for my microphone that I use on sat live. And then I got this bigger one. I've always wanted to get a smaller one, but I don't really have a need for it. Uh, in case somebody's asking, these are the comparable things to Pelican cases. Not, they're, they're the same styles of cases, I should say. Have the rubber seal. The only thing that I found different about these is, if we look right here, compared to a Pelican, this is the pressure relief valve. I guess when you're flying or whatever, uh, you have this pressure relief valve. But this is literally... This pressure relief valve is simply just a screw. So I believe I'd have to look at my Pelican case, which would be this one, a genuine Pelican case. And uh, it has a uh, decidedly different style. So uh, that is one area where they cheaped out. Now, of course, if, if you're just using this for non-airplane stuff, it's not that big of a deal. Let me unlock this padlock real quick. Come off. There we go. Uh, so if you're uh, flying, I don't know what's in here. Hold on. Uh, there's nothing. Oh, there's, there's a sergeant box in here. Uh, but if we look down in here, this is more than just. Can you can you see in there? There we go. That's not just a screw. That is that is a, a fancier mechanism, which I, I never really use. Is in fact, I've never even taken that piece off. But uh, yes, the mechanism is considerably different on those. So that is the one, the one big difference. As far as just a box, you just you need for a toolbox, it's perfectly fine. And uh, you know, I've gone back and forth. This is this is the hole that I put in the door the other day. This is the case that I carry my two and an eighth inch bits in to keep them separate. And as you can see, I've also started recently carrying stuff in this Plano case because it holds three chisels up here. Helps protect the tips a little bit more from just sitting in there. And I've got an assortment of bits here. I don't overly like this because I have to undo three of them to get it open. And if, we're in, if you're in a quiet atmosphere, <laughs> it's like Velcro. It's hard to hide that so i'm going to go ahead and throw a couple of things in here these are little burrs this is this burr right here here in the south we have big problems with yazoo clay uh, so frequently we have to adjust strike plates internally to make them bigger i know everybody's like you move it up and down but sometimes you, you can't do that uh, so this is one alternative to that however as you can see they get kind of routed out pretty quick we've kind of talked about this before and people recommended uh, you know, buying uh, die grinder bits or all that that would last longer uh, or something, but this is just as easy for me, so I just buy those. And also, I discovered that my, uh, keep some, some spade bits in here and a file back there. I keep forgetting that file's back there. But we also discovered when I was trying to put that hole in the door that my one inch bit was a very dull very very dull so we are removing this along with all the other scrap metal 
and replacing it. I've also done a video about this, talking about the difference between the spade bits and the screw tile. We hate the screw tile the style. These are the these are the bestest for the cheapestest, I'm sure. And with any drill bits, let me go ahead and put this out there because I know whenever I do tool videos featuring uh, you know stuff that you buy at Home Depot, everybody's like, just go to Craftsman Hardware and buy. By such and such, it's much better, it's much better. Okay, that's true, it's true. I mean, you know, you can get tons of different brands that are better. However, I mainly do these, and I, I mainly get this because, I mean, it. I go to the hardware store, number one. The hardware store down the hill sends us a ton of customers, a ton. We get more business from them than we give them business, so I just go buy these, you know. these. They work, they've worked for decades for me. No reason to change it now. Uh, so also most of this other stuff in, in this, you know, I could buy this stuff online or through my supplier, but again, the hardware store down the hill sends us a ton of business. Most people would think a hardware store would take away business from us, but they actually send us people every day for the most part. Snap, snap. Uh, and along with some other stuff, we got, you know, you know, extra battery. Uh, speaking of when we're in my toolbox, I'm going to be so happy to get rid of this so happy to get rid of this i hate this thing i hate it i hate it i hate it in fact it's black friday hopefully i can find me a new one to go with i'm still considering going with uh um mm, who am i considering going with going back to yellow some people have said go blue uh, i hadn't really decided yet i'm just gonna look and see what what we're looking at and uh this stupid stupid thing came out these are not really supposed post to come out and it's very inconvenient when you are working on a job and that happens oh i wonder if i hit my own glass jason so we are scrapping this one it's time for it to go i'm tired of it dropping out of my uh gun drill gun this one's okay oh no this one may not be okay one of these was actually wobbly and maybe bent I think I've bent one of them. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, that one's bent. It's not just chucked up wrong. It is bent. So we're going to rescue this, throw this out, throw this out, and throw all this stuff so far in scrap metal. But we're not talking about that. Also, this is a uh, thing I found at a painter's or a craft store. It's an art easel supposed to hold paint brushes i've never located them again um, but it's really thick plastic obviously it has held up really well and it holds a good variety of drill bits spade bits so uh, anyway other than that your dust pan a small hammer and uh this i, I grabbed these when they're on sale just because i blow through drill bits quite a bit that was like 12 bucks whatever uh, so anyway, going back to this, I don't know I kind of got off topic, uh, but let's close this and we can look at these drill bits up here. I have traditionally always used these fixed shaft, uh, which cost, oh God, I can't remember the cost. I'm going to throw it up here. Uh, but basically the cost is higher this way initially than it is with this. Now, when you go to hardware stores, and we'll pull this out, I've got a blue mold chucked up right here, and I'm actually going to talk about that. Blue mold's a good brand. You know, I don't know if you don't see those that often. They may still make them, or they may have been folded into another company. And we have a couple, again, of the one-inch hole saws. This one is, uh, was this Milwaukee? And then this one was a uh, Linux. I prefer the Linux brand, even though I have a Milwaukee right here. Milwaukee, Milwaukee. However, these are okay to burn up. And uh, when I say burn up, you're like, you're not supposed to burn up drill bits, but once you hit concrete. The biggest thing with these is you're putting it through a metal frame. Sometimes there's concrete in there. As soon as this hits the concrete, it toasts it. So it, that is one reason why I always carry two with me to make sure i gotta clean that out but uh yeah that is one reason why i always have at least two of these and it looks like the teeth are different on these two as well between milwaukee 
and the Erwin, is that Erwin? Linux, Erwin Linux, same thing. Uh, and these use the chuck where uh, you would just clamp, I'd just clamp this in a vise or put a pair of pliers on it and then just unscrew this. It's very similar to this style almost, but as we can see, this one is kind of welded in. So uh, I accidentally, the other day, I don't know why I accidentally bought it, but I grabbed this because I knew that I had, I could replace that, right? I don't know why I grabbed that because I always buy the bits with this fixed thing and I can show you half a dozen of these. Usually I throw them out once they dull. Uh, this one is not quite dull yet, but you can see it has had a workout. And I don't know why I bought it because I grabbed this one and then I just grabbed that and I was like, dang it. So this was like 13 or this was like $13. This was 18. So I had to go back to the store to buy this because I did not, I do have one of these right here. You know, I don't know whether or not I'm going to take this back because that is kind of, it's like two different chucks here. While I've got this in my hand, I will mention I don't like this because number one, let's use uh, let's use the old bit as a pointer. See how these kind of project? Let's see in the light. See how they let go? What the heck? See how that kind of projects up into it a little bit? And it is also just a bit shorter than that. That on an inch and three quarter door, which is our standard thickness exterior door, stops right there and the bit barely pokes out. Now, yes, I could adjust that and poke the bit out a bit more, but it does not go quite as far as this does. And when the front of the door hits, we may be able to see how it scratches. Well, it didn't scratch it up, uh, but basically, close. I know my battery's going dead. See, we stopped. Okay, there we go. It stopped right there. And then if we put this one in, uh, it won't go in. There we go. Uh, and if we kind of cut in that, there, we keep cutting it. It'll keep going down. Oh man, I'm gonna have to sweep again. Uh, it'll keep going down. We can see right there. And it stops. So we still have a good half inch for it to go down. Uh, of course, you don't want to blow through the whole door at all. That would be very bad. However, I have just, it's become irritating for me to use this, even though this bit's a good bit. Long story short is which one should you buy? Should you buy these and the pilot bit? Because the pilot bit's five bucks by itself, just speaking retail prices. And this comes with it. So if you subtract five bucks from this, this was actually like 12 or $13. And uh, let's take it apart because I already own it. And again, these are not normally. Ah, uh, hold on. I hate blister packs. Get out of there. So uh, now I've never, I've never had trouble with this. However, if you look at this packaging, this says this is for inch and a quarter to six and seven eighths. So this will fit on a big, big hole saw. Not that any locksmith needs over two and an eighth inches, but this fits for those. And uh, they also make a smaller chuck, which is pretty much this one right here, that's sized uh, for anything under inch and a quarter, I guess. And that's what this one is. Uh, so now that I own it, I own it, I guess. And it uh, looks like you would just put this here, screw this down as far as possible. Okay, just like that, screw this in. Get that out of the way. And tighten it down. Once it's tightened down, it goes in those little holes, which would be, let's back up. Mm, tighten it right, right there. And then tighten this guy down. Uh, so now that I have this, and it's got that little uh, rubber O-ring, and I need, I need to clamp a pair of pliers on this to tighten it down the rest of the way. Uh, however, that is heavier uh, and a lot more stable looking. Now, you would need a half inch compared to you could get away with a quarter inch. I wouldn't recommend using a quarter inch drill to uh, do this, but three-eighths there. So as long as you have a half inch chuck, you can get away with using this big fella. 
and uh, it claims no wobble. You know, I've never really had no wobble drive plate. That's what the plate right there does is keep it from wobbling. Uh, so basically the question is, is should you buy this and this or just buy the fixed one ready to go? Again, I've always bought just the fixed ones. That was a mistake, but I'm gonna use it now that I've got it. Didn't wanna return it, there's no point in that because either which way, it's perfectly fine. Drill bit, same drill bit, just without the fixed plate. Uh, I don't know how well it's gonna work. It does seem, it does seem pretty stable. Of course, this one you would chuck up just like that, let's see. got a little wobble to it. Uh, but it really, it's not, you're not gonna know anything until you hit it, hit a door, hit a door with it. That's the only bad thing about getting new drill bits is sometimes you get really used to the feel, especially if you do a lot of installation but that's what that is. So anyway, that's your two choices on two and an eighth inch drill bits if you go to Home Depot or Lowe's. I think the uh, Irwin style is available from Lowe's and Milwaukee is through Home Depot. Last time I checked anyway. And of course you can buy all this online if you don't have a local store to go to. But again, we go to the hardware store for these. Home Depot and such for these. And, and because both of those companies send us com uh, customers all the time, we actually get customers from Lowe's and Home Depot as well. So we just shop local. And I do go to the Lowe's that's in Jackson to help the city of Jackson. Look at this, look at that, look at that rubber O-ring. It just did something. And what's the point of that thing if it's gonna get all wonky like that? That's just, maybe you don't tighten it down that much. Shoulder squeezed out on me, doesn't it? Yeah, that starts bowing out. So that's, I don't know, is that supposed to be, is that supposed to not be that tight? Uh, uh, that's kind of weird. Maybe we'll just do hand tight. Yeah, uh, I'm always, I'm always worried whenever I, whenever I put, a, put this on into a door, but it should work, just a little bit minor feel difference. You just have to be very cautious the first time you use it till you get the feel of it. Uh, so there we go, drill bit talk. Uh, I can't really answer the question as to whether or not you could probably do the math. I'm not great at the math, but you could work out the cost difference because every time you buy one of these, it's a, it's a couple more dollars expensive for the fixed shaft compared to just replacing the this part alone because this should never wear out. This one is probably 20 years old and I could likely switch this over to that if I really wanted to. I'm not, let's see, how does that come apart? Let's see, I guess you just un, unscrew it there. Uh, but what, there you go. Comes with a drill bit. So actually if you, if you subtract the drill bit from it, five bucks, it's like 18.99 for this guy. Subtract the $5 drill bit, which you do have to replace this more often. Uh, is it worth it? I don't know. We'll put the numbers up. I'll go Google numbers just straight from my Home Depot. I know prices and regionals are, are different across the board, but uh, maybe somebody out there can do the math and figure out how many times you would have to replace this bit to equal to save you the money from having to buy these every time. So here's the prices on them all. I went ahead and Googled it while I'm editing this. I'm gonna put them up here at the end. I'll let somebody else figure that out because it makes my brain hurt. In the meantime, yes, Black Friday. Also, if you want to let me know, I know y'all have talked about it before, but you know, I don't want to necessarily go back with yellow because I had some some similar other problems with yellow, but it's time for that guy to go anyway. And I'm gonna stick with the 18 volt style. Y'all have all said get 12 volt, get 12 volt, but 
I'm sticking with the bigger because I do need that half inch chuck. Obviously, I need that half inch chuck now. So anyway, that would be the conclusion of my TEDx extended long talk on drill bits. What do y'all use? Do y'all use those? Again, there's tons of different brands out there that are probably better. However, just being able to go to a store and pick them up and leave and go do what you need to do. Like if I would have had to have run to the store because I left those here and I didn't have a backup bit with me, uh, I could have just run to the store and got them. So it is what it is. And that's what we're talking about. And, and a phone call interrupted the call, uh, video. So anyway, that's what I was wanting to talk about. If y'all have any questions or comments on that or anything else, post them in the comment section. Thanks for watching y'all. Have a great one. Oh, let me know if you've seen any Black Friday good deals. I'm going to be watching for them.